and gay marriages and all these things come together. Don't you know God don't visit us? Don't you know that? Don't you know we ain't got no time to pray and put on and all that stuff? Because this thing is real now. We in the home stretch. And my prayer, Lord, save me. Hey, but, um, thank God for the call to be a minister, teacher, preacher, all of that. But when it all said and done, I'm going to be saved. You come to a place, you got to save yourself. So God bless y'all tonight. God bless you. I, I enjoyed the fellowship. Just a little tired, that's all. But I enjoyed the fellowship and uh, pray for us. And hey, Amen. We'll be back. And we, we're going to get some things together. We'll invite y'all. Hope y'all can make it, you know. So I appreciate you, Bishop Mike. Uh, you know, hey, even in your sickness, you still got your praise. You don't lose your praise. And that's what happens a lot of times when you go through different things. It draws you closer to God. It makes you appreciate God even more. Especially when he, brought, when he brings you out. You are so thankful. And honey, if your praise wasn't real, it'll be real to you. So God bless you tonight. God bless you. And my close remark, I said, it's because of the anointing. Amen. There's nothing the devil can't put on us. Because of the anointing. Amen. Thank God for the preachers. All of y'all, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Amen. Back in the hand of Bishop Mike, God bless you.